hi dears we were discussing the chapter sound and in the last class we studied some characteristics of sound what are they yes pitch and loudness today we are going to study another important topic in this chapter and it is propagation of sound How does the sound from different sound sources reaches to our ears? Observe the figure. Can you say why astronauts use radio devices to communicate with one another? Let's find out the answer for this question. Before that, there is an experiment to you. Take some water in a flask as shown here. Close the flask in such a way that a belt tied to the end of a thin metal rod inside the flask. Then shake it. You can hear the sound. Remove the cork and boil the water in it till the flask is filled with steam. After this, close the flask with the cork that containing the belt. pour cold water over the flask what happens to the steam inside the flask yes when water is poured over the flask the flask is cooled and the steam condenses thus changed to water the quantity of air inside the flask also decreases now shake the flask What change experienced in the loudness of the bell? Yes, the loudness of the sound decreased. What do you understand from this? The quantity of air molecules inside the flask decreases, so the loudness of sound is decreased. You would have understood that the loudness of the sound heard is reduced because the quantity of air inside the flask is reduced. If so, would you be able to hear the sound on removing the air completely? No. Sound is not heard. This we can say a medium is necessary for sound to travel. Now you may be able to explain why astronaut use radio devices for communication. In space there is no air. It's all vacuum. sound cannot be heard on space because of this astronaut use radio devices for communication is it only through air that sound travels let's see press your ear against one end of the desk let your friend scratch the other end of the desk with his nail can you hear the sound of scratching in this case Through which medium did the sound reach your ear? Yes, through the solid medium. That is through desk sound reaches to your ear. Another experiment. Take a bucket full of water. Hold a steel vessel immersed inside the water and tap it with a spoon. Can you hear the tapping sound? Yes, you can hear the sound. Hold a steel spoon in your mouth between the teeth. Cover both your ears tightly with your fingers. Let your friend gently tap on the spoon. Do you hear any sound? Yes, you can hear the sound. From all these activities, we can find that Sound travels not only through air but also through liquids and solids. That is sound can propagate not only through air but also through other materials. You might have understood that sound is produced due to vibration and requires a medium for its propagation. But how do we sense sound? Which sense organ help us here? Yes, we sense sound through our ears. What would be the result 
if one or more parts of the ear get damaged yes partial or complete hearing loss will happen damage to ear can occur either at birth or at any time later in life such people experience many difficulties due to the loss of hearing what are the difficulties they face people who have hearing loss can often experience many difficulties as a result of communication barriers among them and other hearing individuals in the community some major areas that can be impacted by this are involvement in extracurricular activities and social relationships in general it can be difficult for someone who is deaf to develop and maintain friendships with their hearing peers due to communication gap that they experience children with hearing loss may not hear their own voice when they speak they may speak too loudly or not loud enough speech may be difficult to understand these people have difficulty in understanding and writing complex sentences and they can often use sign language for communication in road and other places the possibility of accident is more how should we approach people with impaired hearing deal them with empathy include them in your work and play ensure their participation and give due consideration to them in all possible activities let's conclude today's session see you in the next class thank you